and we're back. Uh, anyway, I just found out Steve's job. Steve Jobs died in uh, in the news. So, uh, pretty much, pretty much a famous icon died today. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. But uh, basically, for those who don't know, which I'm quite sure is not very seldom, but for most people who don't know who he is, he's a guy who created Apple, uh, like Bill Gates created uh, Windows. So uh, basically, he's probably gonna be spammed all over the news. But I figured I would say something about Steve Jobs dying and whatnot. And, uh, i to just say something about that. Uh, but anyway. Uh, as I was saying last video, before, before I ran out of time. Uh, these, all of these game, all these game recordings will be in one shot. And pretty much the uh, last part of it will always be the longest. But what I'm going to do is probably make these uh, 12 minute parts, and like I said, the last part will just be extremely uber long. The reason for that is just kind of to make it easier on uh, my audience to uh, follow along what's going on. And I'm quite sure that people don't want any BS videos of... Uh, just, you know, just pointless moving characters around uh, all video long. And like I said, this is a turn-based strategy game, so that kind of comes with the territory. So if I get into sections like that, I'm just pretty much going to add it, stick it onto an, some more video. Uh, that looks like Mars in trouble here, hopefully. Comes out okay. Hey, leveled up though. Yeah, might be a good idea to let him use his rapier. I'm gonna check our health real quick. Okay. Never mind, I won't use the right pier. He looks close enough to be killed. Yep, got him. And he needs a sword. <laughs> Let's give him a sword. There we go. Now. Now Navari has got a sword. Unfortunately, slim swords aren't in this game, and I don't I don't understand why, but they aren't. Uh, or I haven't ran into them yet. Uh, but pretty much, like the slim stuff is like they do very small damage, but they have an extremely stupidly high crit rate. And that's generally what I did with the Game Boy games, was I used to equip my characters with slim weapons, as well as the iron. I didn't really touch steel or silver too much, other than if it's like during main boss battles and stuff. Like, but... But pretty much like hand axes and hatchets and all that stuff was kind of nice to have. Just in case of battles like these, where you have like a high agility character, and you at least have a good chance of hitting them. You might hit times two, or you might be critical quite easy. And let's try for something stupid. <laughs> Javelin on a mountain with weapon disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I got a hit. It's good. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a uh, thing to heal yet, so but we'll keep her nearby Marth just in case I need to port him. And since we gave a Ju Julian sword away, we'll give him another sword. And we'll make two swords.
short. Uh, the little fortresses here are pretty much uh, heal spots. Either defensive positions or heal spots. Uh, they'll automatically heal your unit. Like I think it is 20 points or something. Each each tick. Or something. I might, might even be five hit points or something like that. Remember, it was a it was a fair chunk, but it wasn't fully. He's gonna try for Marth. Yes. Crickle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's a critical animation for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, there isn't any Lin char style characters yet, so that kind of bites. Uh, most of the time, they're just more Ellie Wood style lords. Uh, I don't. Ex they, for some reason, Nintendo likes to force feed those Ellie Wood style lords. You know, the ones that you just use rapier and whatnot. Uh, I don't really like that t archetype too much because they're just too squishy. I mean, Lin, Lin has to have been the best lord that I've, out of mo most of the Fire Emblem games that I've played. She has to be by far the best of the of the game lords. Just, I mean, the ability to use a bow and a sword, and then also she gets she can walk on river sectors while everybody else can't. Uh, here's how the warp works, by the way. And you select the character to use it on, and then you just click the area where you want to warp them. And it can be anywhere on the map. So, since we need the town occupied, we'll go ahead and put them on the town. But yeah, uh, just... I kind of, like I said, it's just I found Lin a lot more uh, usable. Everybody else is like, kind of have to either protect or not. I know there is a couple of games where they use the Axe Lord, and I, th I know there's a couple where they use Cavalry Lords, but it is, like I said, Lin to me was always a more resourceful one of the set. It was kind of, at least it suited more to my play style. And you can use her like you use like Wraith and whatnot. Uh, oddly enough, this game also has Nomads. Uh, this Hunter here. He'll, he promotes into a into a nomad type. Sorry, this is a hunter. My bad. Yeah, I have an archer and a hunter. Yeah, another thing kind of weird is I wonder why they don't pick on the armor knights too much. Uh, I think I've only seen maybe at the most four armor knights. I know one of them was a uh, trainee, I think, and then uh, there was the general guy uh, who's a part of Lin's kingdom, and then uh, this game has one. Uh, I also think there was only one in the, uh, in the other Fire Emblem port that sort of seals or something to that effect. Uh, but they just seem to only have, like, either one or two play characters in them. They seem to like the axe people more. So I was kind of wondering why they, why they bashed the axe class as much. As, a, as much as they do the other classes. But speaking of armor, armor people, here's our armor, armor knight. He can wield the uh, spears and he can wield swords. 
versus the uh, modern day equivalent, they can only use uh, spears and axes. Don't know why that was changed, but like I said. Okay, you're giving me a sword and it, I mean giving me an axe and then saying never use it. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> One of those weird game logic things, I guess. But like like I said though, I just I don't understand it. I mean that th they love uh Pegasus Knights, they don't like the Wyvern Knights too much, they don't like the Armor Knights that much. Uh, same thing with Mercenaries, they don't seem to like Mercenaries too much. But they seem to lo but they love Mages, they love Priests, and they love uh, Knights. It always baffled me why. Uh, maybe somebody can kind of shed light to this or provide any theories. I mean, I, I know when they tried when they brought in the trainee system, that was kind of kind of neat because it's that kind of gives the player more control over how, how they want their armies to be versus uh, versus how it is like now it's you get the character and that's that at least the training system you can actually watch them go from nothing to something so if there was future installments of Fire Emblem that's the main thing I would like to recommend to de game developers is, is stick to the training system or try to balance your classes more, because like it seems like every time the enemy is always axe people, or if they use a sword, then they're extremely overpowered, or they're I mean they're either boss level types or you know stuff to that effect. And it'd be nice to just have some sword people that are not either knight class or boss class characters. I know Sword of Sealed tried to use more spear class as well, but it didn't end up end out well. But it, this this seems to be a common problem between the three games, like this game and the other two so far, is they always seem to favor uh, your characters using swords than they do the other class, other types. I mean, sure they even give you the hammer and stuff, which is anti-cavalry, but even then. It doesn't really matter too much, since everybody can use a sword, and then they can equip like a kill sword or something, and then boom, 